Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Eric Surf 6. Welcome to Eric Meal Time. In this one, I found a new vending machine's restaurant. It's right here. Let's check it out. Honey shop. They do have some nice sandwiches, some beautiful homemade sandwiches, and some beef bowl dishes. There is some good stuff here. And fruit sandwiches, blueberry, orange, kiwi, grapes, grape sandwiches, and a spaghetti sandwich. <laughs> onigiri rice balls and these are packages of ramen from different prefectures around Japan We got a liquor shop, Suzy Q liquor shop. And guess what's over here on the side? Vending machines. That's right, a liquor shop vending machine. Let's see. You might need this. This is an ID verification system. Now, let's see. We'll try to buy it without. I'm not sure if it's functioning or not. Let's get one of these beers here, I guess. Oh, the red ones. They've also got canned cocktails, two highs they're called highball right here and then these are mixers <laughs> yeah uh-huh they've also got osake japanese sake you can either get it in a carton or a glass interesting huh and all the rest on the top here are beers so i'm gonna go for the colorful beer here this is the seasonal kirin i guess it's it's gonna be the i think it's the fall edition Ah, hi. Okay. Yeah, he says I gotta go in and get the pass. Alright, let's do that. Interesting, huh? Oh my gosh, what is this? Is this what I think it is? It's a vending machine that sells newspapers. No way! Oh my gosh, how cool is this? this is this a sports newspaper? Yeah, this is the Kanagawa newspaper, the local one. And this is the Asahi, which is the biggest one in Japan. I'm gonna go with the sports one. So, what, about a buck and a half? It's all right. Oh, it's not taking my money. I took that one. And let's see, it's number three. Okay. Oh, it just slides it out to you. That is cool. I'll read this going home on the train, I think. Yeah. This is nice. This next vending machine, we have to charge my card here. This one, this one the biggest because I ride the train a lot. See, I only had 126 yen, that I wouldn't go anywhere. Yeah, and then this gets your receipt. Yeah. Okay, now we can ride the train. We have arrived at the Petite Mall vending machine. Oh, every burger, not this time, not every time, because we got something else in here. We got a spicy curry bread. Yeah, that's a new item. Gotta try that. Let's pay with the IC card first. Four, seven. Here we go. Oh, 
Oh yeah, it's refrigerated. And what do we have here? Little trinkets. Oh, that is cute overload. Cat in a bag, definitely getting this. Let's try that. You can buy hard-earned YouTube cash. The yellow one would be cool. Mm, the black one, would be, they're all cool. They come in a bag, I love it. Cool stuff, kitchen goods, frogs. They got all kinds of stuff in here. All right. We'll open it up later, I gotta catch my train here. So we've got the goods, we're gonna save the sandwiches for later with my son. And for now, I'm gonna get into the bulgogi over rice. It's looking fabulous. Comes with a spork to eat it with. Oh, I wish you guys could smell this. And the price for this is just over two bucks. How much meat do you get? I'll let you know. Mmm. Ooh, that's flavorful meat. It's got grilled onions on it. Surprisingly, you get a lot of meat. Wow. It's got some cabbage on it as well, too. There's some pickled ginger in here. Oh man, this isn't bad at all. And I like that it's got the cabbage on it. Shredded cabbage, right below the onions. Mm-hmm, that's what makes it unique. Mm-hmm, typical gyudon doesn't have that. Wow, what a surprise. Better than I had expected. All right, let's get into the beer. We're a bit thirsty here. We've got the original quality Karen. Yeah, original quality, that's what it says. As opposed to what quality? <laughs> there we go. How's that for a pour? Big enough head on there. Cheers to you guys. That's pretty tasty. All right, what's up next? Let's go with the bread. They're calling this spicy karepan, or curry bread. In Japanese, curry has a very distinct sort of smell to it, aroma. It smells pretty good. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a sweet bread. There's some, what is that, some cheese on top or something? Oh, that's good. And it's a sweet, they're calling it a spicy curry, but it's sweet. It's almost like caramelized. Hmm. Wow. Hmm. That is interesting. Wow. It's more like a Danish than a bread. Mm-hmm. Next up are the fried rice cakes. Let's get into these, shall we? Oh yeah. Oh, it's a sweet show you. Mmm. Oh, it's nice. Mmm. Classic Japanese sweets. Oh, it's good. Nice, oh, goodness. Really sweet, almost a brown sugar-like. I mean, it's not brown sugar, it's shoyu, but definitely sweetened. So the sweetness comes from the outer skin right here. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's good. Good and messy. Oh, yeah. I mean, this really is a dessert, but I've also got the apple pie here. Caramel or caramel apple pie. Mm-hmm. 
It looks fabulous. Mm-hmm. Okay. Going in for the apple pie. Mmm. It's nice and flaky. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Bit on the dry side, but oh, the caramel taste of the apple. Oh, it's fabulous. A lot of caramel apple in here. Caramel apple. Oh, it's good. Mm-hmm. Once you get to the filling. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's good. Kitchen goods, frogs. They got all kinds of stuff in here. All right. Let's open the box, shall we? What kind of little trinket have we got here? Which one did we get? So it's going to be one of these six cats in a bag. Let the cat out of the bag. Which one do we get? We got the black one. Oh yeah, that's probably the best one. Can't go wrong with the black cat. Now where's the bag? Oh, you have to assemble the bag here. So to put it in the bag, we got to do a little bit of origami. All right, well, cut away we will. Okay, we got the box cut out. Now we need to glue it together. Box, it's not a box, it's a bag. Glue it here. You're supposed to put these straps on it too, but that's too much work. <laughs> so, cat in the bag or cat in the box. <laughs> in in there. The package service in Japan is called Kuroneko or the black cat, so. I don't know. Cat in a box, cat in a bag. Yeah, okay. I guess that's pretty cute. <laughs> so before we eat, we, hey, I got Mega Brian 6100 with me. We are on campus at our university. How cool is this? Had to show our IDs to get on, but there's nobody here, just us. And we're gonna need something to drink. What are you gonna get? 500 yen coin. Get something that you've never had before. I'm going to try this. What is it called? Macho Match Match. match. It's a lychee flavored drink. Oh, lychee. Yeah. I love lychee. I want that one. <laughs> it's like a sports drink, right? Yeah. Yeah, because we're, we're at the, this is the track right here, so sports drinks. All right, I will try the other match. Pocari Sweat is like the number one sports drink in Japan. It's pretty boring. And it tastes like sweat. That's right. So I don't buy it. Hit it. Mm. Okay. So on the menu now are the sandwiches that I got from the machines. You missed it, Mega. You <laughs> missed it. Let's start off with the com pie. Yours is a twist off. Mine is a puncture it. Right. <laughs> to the match. Actually, that's pretty good. It's way, way too sweet. But it's good. How's the lychee? Yeah. It tastes good. Just pour me a little bit in the cap. It's good. But this one's too sweet too. It's too sweet too. Yeah. Yeah. A little bit more. That's good. This is actually sweeter than this. They nailed the lychee flavor though. Yeah. That's pretty good. Yeah, I prefer that one for sure. But yeah, definitely um, quenches your thirst. Yeah. I, if, if I was running marathons, I would be drinking this stuff all the time. All right, let's get into the, the main event here. We've got five different types of sandwiches. So let's see. You, you show one, I show one. So the, the red chicken. Basically, red means hot, right? In, in Japan, they call it red, but it, yeah. it's spicy chicken, right? All the convenience stores sell this. So we got, let's start out with this one. Okay, and the other five we got, well, you saw them, they came out of the machine, but we could just explain it. There's a spaghetti sandwich here, there's a hamburger, and there's two dessert sandwiches. That's what we got going here. All right, take one. Ooh, smells really good, <laughs> doesn't it? 
<laughs> Smells good. All right, going in. Itadakimasu. Itadakimasu. Oh, it's spicy, isn't it? Yeah. I'll say it's not as good as uh, Family Mart or 7-Eleven chicken. Right? Yeah. It's actually spicier, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's alright. It's alright. Oh, it's different. It's a sandwich. Mmm. Spicy. It's really spicy. Yeah, actually, I like it a lot. Yeah. It'd just be better if it was, like, heated up. I don't know. It's alright. I'm not complaining. Mm. Oh yeah. All right, your choice, Mega. Where are we gonna go? The hamburger. The hamburger. All right. Rip into it and uh, just tear it in half. What's that? There's a egg inside <laughs> and tomato and lettuce. You know, egg is egg is kind of popular in Japan and in, in uh, hamburgers, right? Yeah, it's popular. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, do you want the egg, or you, do you not want the egg? That's the question. Uh, either I, I can go either way. It I'm starving right now. Either way, you can have it. All right. Okay, here we go. It's the uh, the egg burger. Is there actually meat in here? No, I don't think There's so. no meat in here. It's just an egg. It's an egg. There's no meat. What a trip! <laughs> it's a fried egg sandwich. <laughs> Okay, I thought it was a, because it said hamburger. Well, egg burger, that's what it is. Egg burger, yeah. but there's no meat. Right? In Japan, they say a burger is a, basically, it's, if it's on a bun, it's a burger, right? Yeah. Okay, going in. You probably need some egg with yours. <laughs> I, I mean, some. oh, you, okay. Yeah. You didn't get the, you got the egg white, so I got the egg yolk. Meh. Actually, the egg's pretty good. If there was some bacon on it, a little bit of meat. Well, a little, yeah. bit of, a little bit of meat it would be nice. Okay, next item up for bids is my favorite item ever. I absolutely love the spaghetti sandwich. What, what does that say in Japanese, though? Napolitan. No, okay, it's called Napolitan. That means all mixed up. This is a spaghetti sandwich or fried noodle roll, right, is what it really is. There it is. Feast your eyes on those worms. <laughs> oh my goodness. The hardest part about this is gonna be... It looks like a yakisoba pan. Yeah, well you actually like yakisoba pan, don't you? There you go. Not really. Oh, you don't? <laughs> okay. Well, don't knock it till you try it. I mean, this, is, this came from a vending machine. This is gourmet yakisoba, or gourmet spaghetti. You first. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a pretty, pretty good bite. I would rather eat a tarantula or a scorpion. Honestly, this is <laughs> not my cup of tea. I'm sorry, I'm not worthy. I'm gonna have to retire as a food reviewer. <laughs> Start doing some other kinds of content. Okay. Oh, even even you, even Maga's gonna pass on this. These are the dessert sandwiches. So one is uh, like grapes, grapes and cream, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I've never seen that before. And then the other one is uh, sat I got the grapes. Sat what is yours? Satsumaimo. Satsumaimo, which is uh, Japanese sweet potato. Yeah. Okay. Let's open them both up and then. I think the, yours should be first because the grapes are sweeter. Yeah. Yeah. Grapes would be last. Mills grapes. Oh, uh -huh. grape sandwich. Who's ever seen a grape sandwich before? I have not. Okay. And then the, uh, so, oh, it's two colors. Oh, so there's Anko in here too, the bean paste, sweet bean paste, right? Yeah. Okay. It smells like bread. Hey, there's a little bit of crust on mine. That's rare. Usually they cut that off. Just a little bit though. This one's really dry. Yeah. But, it's good. Tastes good. Yeah. 
the, the bread is thick though. There's more bread that needs more filling. If it had yeah. more filling, yeah, I think just add more filling in. Oh, but it's nice though. Yeah, all right. Okay, match. You ever had a grape sandwich before, Mega? No. Neither have I. Say about a new experience for last. I guess you just, you got to get the grape in your mouth on the first go, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Mine has a seed in it. <laughs> hey, let's plant a grape tree, right? Over here. I mean, they could. I got one too. They could have they taken the seeds out. I mean, they already cut them in half. <laughs> Well, maybe that keeps them fresher longer. We'll have another grape tree over here. <laughs> Next year, we'll have our own grapes. And we'll sit at this table again. And do this all over again. The bread is... Just, it's too much bread. Again, too much bread, not enough cream. Right? I think you had more... Um, I think you had more grapes in yours, though. Yeah. Yeah. See, his had twice the amount of grapes. So maybe yours was better. Yeah. Okay, but but all right. You know, it's always good to have something, and this new try something different. And I like that that they're putting new things inside vending machines in Japan, because that means I'll still have a job and be able to make videos for you guys if if they stop putting new stuff in the vending machines. We don't have anything new to show you, right? Yeah. So what I really would like to do is buy a vending machine. I want to buy a vending machine and then we'll stock it with our own stuff. We'll figure out how to cook somehow. That's not, that's not going to happen. <laughs> Are there any people that know how to uh, make a good sandwich out there? <laughs> Send us your recipes. <laughs> okay, so now it is time to rate this meal. Now, now you were only part of the, the very, just this part, the very last part. So you're just going to rate the sandwiches, okay? Fair enough. And I will rate the, the entire video. So go ahead and rate the five sandwiches and the drinks. I guess this is part of it too. Take a sip. Sw swirl it around in your mouth. And rate the lychee. Which is an excellent fruit, by the way. I love lychee. Do you like to eat them too? You know, when you peel them, they're fun to peel and eat, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Take it away. On the ranking scale between one and six mega heads, where are you going to go? I'll give it four. Four out of six. That's a gnome. gnome. Single gnome. Okay, fair enough. And I'm going to go... I'm going to go five. Five out of six. It's a gnome gnome. It's not... It's almost a gnome gnome gnome. So anyway, there it was. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. On behalf of myself and the mega brain, we shall see you in the next video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And as always... He never reads the comments, and I always read the comments. Or wait a minute. So, so this time, he's going to read all the comments, and maybe I'll just... Well, I always read the comments, because that's just what I do. I'm a community guy. All right, we're going to salute you guys out. See you in the next one. And cut.